Hi everyone, let's provide a solution to this problem y equals square root of 1 over y. And the question says we should bring out the three solutions to this problem. To do that, we'll have to remove this square root from here. And we can do that by squaring both sides. We'll square this. Now this will take this away. So we have y squared, which is now equal to 1 over y. And from here we are to cross multiply. So we have y times y squared. That will be y to the power of 3. And it will now be equal to 1 on the other side. Remember that we are looking for the three solutions, right? So we'll have this to the power of 3 equals 1 to the power of 3. Now let's take this to the left as we have y to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3. And this is equal to 0. Now we have difference of two squares. I mean difference of two cubes. And if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this will give a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, so this is what we are going to have. And now our a is going to be y and then our b is 1. So we'll just put this into this um, standard so that a minus b will be y minus 1. Then into a squared will be 1 squared plus ab is going to be is going to be y times 1 and that will be 1y then plus we have b squared that will be one squared so everything is equal to zero now y minus one into one plus y right how did we get the one okay i think we've made a mistake it's supposed to be a is y so y squared will give us this so here we have y squared and this is the same y squared then plus y plus 1 squared will give 1. So this is equal to 0. By the way, did you see this mistake before now? If you saw it, that is good. Let's keep going. Now we are multiplying this and this to get 0, right? So this means that either y minus 1 equals 0 or y squared plus y plus 1 equals 0. So from here now, y minus 1, we are tr trying to take the 1 away, so we add 1. This one is called the, the additive inverse of minus 1. Then on the other hand, we have 0 plus 1. So now our y will be equal to 0 plus 1, and that is equal to 1. Okay, so from here we have a solution. We'll go straight to this other value and then we solve it. I mean, this other factor and uh, we equate it to zero. We've equated it to zero already. So we provide the solution to this. Okay, so this is now a quadratic equation and we will look for a way to solve it. We're going to solve this using quadratic general formula. y equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. The next target is to identify your a, b, c. a is 1, b is 1, and c is equal to 1. Now, let me explain that. A is the coefficient of y squared. 
b is a coefficient of y and c is a constant so let's put this into the formula y will now be in place of minus b right minus 1 plus or minus will have 1 squared because our b is 1 minus 4 times 1 a is 1 times c c is also 1 this is divided by 2 times 1 okay now to continue with this we have y to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared that is 1 1 squared is 1 times 1 that is 1 and um, we have 4 times 1 times 1 that will give 4 so we're going to divide this by 2 now you can be tempted to you know find the square root of 1 and find the square root of 4 but that will not be correct okay so that will not be correct now let's confirm how that will not be correct imagine we have um we have 9 minus 4 under the root imagine we have this then you find the square root of 9 to get 3 minus the square root of 4 to get 2 this will give 1 right but then what if you subtract this first we now get square root of 9 minus 4 is 5. So will square root of 5 give us 1? Nope. And this is the right thing to do. You have to simplify this before finding the square root. So we'll have to do the same thing here. y will now be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3. 1 minus 4. We divide by 2. So now our y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus we have square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. This is because root 3 times root negative 1 will give us this root negative 3. So now our y will be minus 1. Now square root of Okay, we have positive or negative square root of 3 times i square root of negative 1 is i and then everything is divided by 2 so it is advisable that you write i before this so y will now be minus 1 plus or minus we have i root 3 divided by 2 to go ahead with this we will write this in two places but remember that we already got one value for y and that is y equals 1. Let's call that equation um, y1. Then our y2 will be minus 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2. Then our y3 will be equal to minus 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. So these are the three solutions to the equation.